of the supraspinatus, which we talked about is in the dead area, the area of decreased blood supply, what should I do? Kérdés az, hogyha, hogyha a szuperszkenetoszt akarod kezelni a dead zónában, tehát a derektíve kevésbé vaszkulázat, akkor mit kell csinálni? The same you do when you do an injection in the area. You put your hand on the back, in the back pocket. Just like this. This is good. And relax the arm down there. This is good. Now, what did I do here? I did internal rotation. Berotáltam. I did extension. Extendáltam. So, that means that the supraspinatus has to slide out under the acromion. Alright? God, we're clever, huh? We've become so clever, huh? <laughs> so now I can treat the same area again, but in a different place. And you can still feel that I'm right on top of the muscle. You can feel that it grows under. Yeah. So he knows that I'm in the proper position. Ah, good. We like that a lot. <laughs> now, that was just to show you how to do that. Now, I usually, you will get how many strokes I, I do and everything afterwards. So I won't go into details with that. If they cannot do internal rotation, if they cannot do internal rotation, because some patients will have difficulties in doing it, if they have a, a severe tendinopathy of the supraspinatus, then they will have difficulties in doing it. They can just put it out and maybe a little bit in. And then out the first thing. And then 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 the first a little bit more, a little bit more. So the patient will feel during the, the treatment that, fuck, I'm getting better. What, 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 oh, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, this is very important to show that you actually do something potential to the, to the, to the patient. Now, if he came to me as a first visit, he would not be able to raise his arm more than about 70 to 80 degrees because he had an impingement syndrome. That's why I actually came to the doctor because I was afraid that if he had an impingement, he would not be able to raise his arm more than about 70 to 80 degrees. He went to an ultrasound here. <coughs> Unfortunately, the guys who did the ultrasound didn't do it in, in. They did it okay. But they didn't do the right test for his condition. Igen, ez amit mondtam nektek, hogy ő hiányolja, hogy nem csinálják meg a funkcionális tesztet, de nem a megfelelő pozícióban csinálják meg az ultrahangot. Because when you do examination of ultrasound, you do it clinically by moving the arm around like this. Now, if they had done that, and I asked the patient, they didn't do it, and did the probe here, they would have seen that the supraspinatus didn't slide smoothly under the acromion, it would sort of stop a little bit and it will get stuck like, or it will crimple a little bit. The supraspinatus, igen, supraspinatus mozgását, relatív mozgását, abban a térben azt látta volna az útrahangos, hogyha kell a gyakorlatban rendelkezik és megcsinálja ezt a vizsgálatot. Now, he has actually, what we found here was that he is playing tennis, yes? Okay, tennis, a lot of these movements, yeah? So the first muscle that I'm thinking about in tennis is, or the first muscles I'm thinking about is rotator cuff muscles. It is trapezius and levator scapula. Now, where is levator scapula attached? I'll tell you. It is attached to the superior medial part of the, of the scapula and occiput C1, C2, C3 on the TVPs. So I know that it goes from up here to down to the medial or angulus, almost angulus superior of the scapula. Now imagine this. If I push into that area, he has pain. Now, if I do his head a little bit back, ex extend it and press down, he will also get pain there. But why is that? Because we compress the facet joints. 
This is the less movable, movable area of the facet joints, its extension and rotation. This is an uncommon position for the cervical spine. So, if you have a, 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 a worker who is working at the computers and not doing any physical pass, telling you that, Ducky, whenever I do like this, <laughs> I get pain in my neck, what should you tell them? No. Don't do it. Ha, ezt kérdezi, aki a komputer ötelgézt, ezt kérdezi, hogy ha így csinál, akkor fáj, akkor mit mondom, mert ne csináljunk. But a lot of patients will come and say, I have had those players, they, they say, this position is really, really difficult for me and it, it gives me pain. How often do you use that position? Well, depending on. Yeah, depending on. <laughs> But, but so you, have, you have to make patients realize that not everything can be fixed. Something can be fixed, but not everything. <laughs> you know the contraindications to the area. Don't treat over big blood vessels. Don't treat over lung tissue. So if I am to treat trapezius or levator scapula, tehát ha a trapézius vagy a levátorszkáp vagyat kezeljük, akkor... Should I treat it like this? What is the word? Of course not. Tehát így ne. Because this is the directly line of lung...